In this video, I am going to explain the principle of operation of SCR and the voltage and current characteristics of SCR. SCR is a three terminal, four layered, three junction, solid state, fast switching semiconductor device. SCR is symbolically represented like this and has internal con construction like this that is PN, PN and there is a, an electrode connected to outer P layer called as anode, electrode, electrode connected to outer N layer is called as cathode and the terminal which is connected to the uh, inner P layer is nothing but gate, right. So here the principle of operation of SCR is explain in three states that is forward blocking state and forward conduction state third one is reverse blocking state so during forward bias condition of scr when anode is made, po made positive with respect to cathode device is under forward bias then the then the junctions j1 and j3 are forward bias condition and j2 is reverse biased during this forward bias okay condition of scr there is no current flowing through the SCR, so that is why that state is called as forward blocking state. So during the same forward bias condition of SCR, you know we can turn on the device or we can make the current to flow through it with the help of uh, dV by dt, okay, or using gate current, right. So with the help of dV by dt, device is turned on or by using gate current, device is turned on, but practically dV by dt is uh, avoid it but only gate pulse is used to turn on the device okay so that is why during forward bias condition of the SCR if the device is turned on okay because of dv by dt or because of gate pulse then that period the state is called as forward conduction state then there is a current current flowing from anode to cathode right and during reverse bias whenever cathode is made positive with respect to anode or cathode is connected to higher potential with respect to anode then the device will be under reverse bias condition so when device when device is under reverse bias the junctions j1 and j3 are reverse biased and j2 is forward biased right so there is no current flowing through the device because of the reverse bias appeared across j1 and j3 so that is why during that reverse bias condition state is called a reverse blocking state now let us see VI characteristics of SCR. VI characteristics of SCR are taken between the uh, VA anode voltage and the anode current. That means the voltage of the thyristor and the current flowing through the thyristor. Now the voltage across the thyristor is taken on X axis, current flowing through the thyristor is taken on Y axis. There is forward voltage applied across the device that is whenever device is under forward bias condition. When we keep on increase the forward voltage or forward bias voltage across the device. So at particular instant of dv by dt, there will be okay a vanishing of depletion layer. So the voltage at which the depletion layer at the junction J2 is vanished, that voltage is called as forward breakover voltage. So at that particular forward breakover voltage, device is turned on. So that is why the thyristor voltage is fallen down and the thyristor current is suddenly increased. Right. So it may happen earlier with the help of gate signal called as IG3, IG2, IG1. Suppose at this particular instant if I just uh, apply gate current with this magnitude, magnitude of gate current, okay, so is deciding how earlier the device is turned on. So that is why here IG3 is greater than IG2, IG and greater than IG1 which is greater than IG0. So, whenever gate current is increased, it is seen that the forward breakover voltage is decreased, right. So, with the help of gate signal, device is turned on. So, this all happens during forward bias condition of SCR. So, that is why this is called as a forward uh, blocking state. This region is called as forward blocking state and this region is called as forward conduction state. Here, there are two currents appeared called as latching current and holding current. Holding current is the minimum anode current below which the SCR is turned off. 
latching current is the minimum anode current which keeps the device or SCR remain in on state even after removal of gate signal. Now let us consider reverse bias condition of SCR. During reverse bias condition what we do here we apply higher potential to the cathode with respect to anode. So that is why here junctions J1 and J3 are reverse biased and junction J2 is forward biased. So during this reverse uh, bias condition also if high rate of change of reverse bias voltage is increased at particular instant there will be break or occurs that is called as uh, okay uh, avalanche breakdown so during reverse bias condition there is also avalanche breakdown voltage that is called a reverse avalanche breakdown voltage so at reverse break or voltage okay so there is a current flowing through the device so in reverse direction so that is why here we show it on <coughs> negative x negative anode current axis right so this is what uh, the vi characteristic characteristics of scr thank you ee video kanu meeku nachinatlaithe like comment share cheyandi marini updates kosam subscribe cheyandi